Let's talk about Gran Turismo 7. So before I get into this video, I need to make it abundantly clear that I have not completed this game and I am not reviewing this game per se. These are my hot takes based on my initial impressions of this game. And I do have some bad things to say and I have some good things to say. When this game was first uh, released, uh, or a couple of days before the game was released, when reviews went live, all the big YouTubers were talking about how this game was an absolute masterpiece, especially a graphical masterpiece. And I am here to say this game is not a graphical masterpiece. It looks pretty good. Uh, this is a 1080p display, so it's certainly not doing it justice. It looks, it looks okay. Like, it looks pretty damn good. However, when you compare the newest Gran Turismo 7 to Gran Turismo Sport running in 4K on my PS5, it does not really look any better. We were expecting a next-gen experience, and we simply didn't get one. Now, some things, you look here, for example, the interior shot, some of the lighting is half-decent, but a lot of this plastic looks super fake on the interior of the car. You look at some of the stuff here, like the, uh, you know, the road, the, the coloration on the road, the fences in the side, you know, when you look far off into the distance, the landscapes look nice, but when you're up close, you're looking at trees and stuff that are up close, they look pretty fake. And, you know, honestly, a lot of these little details looked better in Gran Turismo Sport. Now, Gran Turismo Sport launched kind of in a tech demo state. It was a pretty stripped-down game. And as far as the content of Gran Turismo 7 goes, it's excellent. I'm having a lot of fun with Gran Turismo 7. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't rush out and buy this game because it is an excellent game. As far as the gameplay, the controls, the driving mechanics, they're absolutely superb. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. If you love the Gran Turismo series, I think you're going to love this game. But don't go in this expecting to be blown away by next-gen graphics because, frankly, even in, you know, 4K, HDR settings turned on, uh, you know, the menus look okay. Uh, when you're in the photo mode, uh, the photo mode looks fantastic. Things are, fit, you know, absolutely high-res, glossy, beautiful. But the photo mode is basically still images, and I'd be pretty surprised if it didn't look fantastic. But you're, when you're in an actual race, I think I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I was expecting more. I was expecting, uh, you know, even when you switch back and forth between the performance mode and the ray tracing mode, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. The game performs well in both modes, despite the frame rate dripping, dipping a little bit. Uh, I don't think it dips all the way down to 30. I think it's kind of a floating frame rate around 45, maybe, uh, in the graphics mode. <clears throat> it's, you know, it's, it's fine. Either one are fine. But, you know, I think... Gran Turismo 6 is still my favorite Gran Turismo game of all time. And all of my favorite Gran Turismo games, 2, 4, and 6, were the even-numbered entries in the series. And I'm kind of wondering if the kind of curse of the odd-numbered games, uh, you know, looking back at Gran Turismo 5, for example, it was, it was fine, it was groundbreaking at the time, but when Gran Turismo 6 came out, it was so much more of a game. Gran Turismo 3, I've got an awesome Gran Turismo 3 hat here. Uh, I love Gran Turismo 3, especially some of the crazy stuff you could do with that uh, Suzuki uh, Escudo or whatever. Basically broke the game, but uh, Gran Turismo 4 was just a better game. And, uh, you know, I'm really wondering, like, when you look at a lot of this stuff, you look at some of these textures, like, the cars look pretty decent. Uh, this is obviously, I think, in the ray tracing mode because we're seeing some of the reflections off the cars and stuff looking a little bit better, but I'm not super impressed by the way this game looks. And, you know, all of those reviewers that said this thing is a graphical masterpiece, a few days later, you started to hear a little bit of rumblings on Twitter and stuff, and I actually had an interaction with uh, Rich from Review Tech USA last night where he finally came out and said it. Somebody, you know, relevant with, uh, 
you know, nearly a million subscribers came out and said this game basically looks like, you know, a remastered 7th gen game. Uh, and, you know, I wouldn't go that far. I'd say this looks like a PS4 game, maybe an early PS4 game, pretty similar to Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, but, you know, I replied back and said, you know, I'm glad somebody relevant said it because I've been feeling like, you know, and somebody else said they felt like they were being gaslit by all of these YouTube personalities that were coming out saying this thing was a graphical masterpiece and then they put it in the machine and it's like, it's okay. You know, it's fine. And I think the comment here, I would not suggest that you don't play the game. I think the game is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I'm having a ton of fun with the game. The pacing is great. Uh, you know, it's really uh, interesting the way they've added some kind of RPG mechanics to the game. I really love that. Uh, but yeah, the graphics, you know, when you look at something like this, which is kind of a pre-rendered image, looks pretty nice. But when you're actually in the race, come on, you know, Polyphony uh, has been known for being on the leading edge of graphics with every generation of consoles. People have been able to expect that the newest Gran Turismo game would push the hardware in a way that no other game would. And this is clearly not happening here. I can think of several games on my PS5 that are not even PS5 games natively. Director's, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut. That game looks fantastic, and it's a PS4 game upscaled to PS5. Uh, you know, Gran Turismo Sport running on my PS5 looks just as good as this. Like, literally just as good. Uh, so, I don't know what you guys think if you've had this kind of experience. I feel like I'm being gaslit by a lot of those reviewers, like that other guy in the Twitter comments said. Uh, you know, why are people saying this thing is a graphical masterpiece? The game is a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned, but the graphics are just okay. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. If you haven't, hit the like button. It helps out a ton. Believe me. Thanks so much. Uh, see you in the next video.